Hello everybody. So we're going to work with the motors for our kit. You know, we have a micro bit, we have a Wukong expansion board, and I've got three motors in my kit, so the different ones to see how, so you can experiment with and see how they work. Uh, through your typical uh, robot car kind of motor kit, it's got two, and you always have to pay attention to what the, the connections are to see what other wires you need to connect to the um, board. It's got two um, pins, and then this tiny motor, which is kind of like a typical science kit motor, just has two wires uh, that I, I can alligator clip to those, I can alligator clip to those, um, or I could use a, a socket to socket adapter to those. And then this 360 continuous servo motor, which we know it runs like a motor because it only has two wires, whereas a servo that does angles would have three wires for the signal telling it when and where to go. One of the nice things about the Wukong expansion board is that it has two motor drivers in order to uh, work the motors, right? Um, it also has five volt power, so you can actually just plug the mo a motor straight into the five volt if you want it to run continuously. That is a possibility. Again, I've got two of the yellow, so I've got four motors total, but really only two places to control a motor. So here's how we're going to do that with a little make code and our uh, micro bit, right? So here's our micro bit. Here's our make code, I'm sorry. And we need to go get the Wukong extension. So up here, I get extensions. I search for Wukong. I get that, and it's going to drop in a block uh, for the Wukong things and NeoPixels too, because it's got NeoPixels on it. Um, so here we go. Here's all the blocks for Wukong. So it's got motors, blocks. Awesome. A couple different ones here. It also has servo blocks, but that's not for this. Even though that, even though that is a continuous servo, it's actually a motor. So we are going to uh, just play with one motor. Uh, let's see what we want to do. Let's do a button press. Again, how you control it is the big thing. It's always a thing, right? And then I'm going to uh, command it and stop it on B. Start it on A, stop it on B, which means there is a stop motor. Okay, so I'm using motor one. So here's the thing to pay attention to. Um, it's 100 for 100% 100 full power kind of thing. But it also goes to negative 100 for the opposite. Now, there is no plus or minus on the uh, expansion board to know which one's the plus and which one's the minus. So we can always just flip it around on the expansion board also to go the opposite direction. So, I mean, that's all we're going to do. We're going to run, we're going to run a motor, right? Okay. So let us, I, I did the connect to micro bit so that I can just download it directly to the micro bit. And obviously this emulator in the micro bit, in the make code, it's not going to do much for us because, um, I want to do something because there's no motor here. I like sometimes when I can just making something happen on start so I can always see the program is running. So I'll download that again, pull it off the computer, and now let's go back to the camera. I mean, that's, that's, you know, that's motors. It's just, it's just a couple of blocks. And let's go to the webcam. So here I am. I like that Like Freaks has put the, the zero, one, two, three, uh, zero, one, two. So I know which way to put the, thing in um, and now if, here's the on button so press that and we've got on button and I know the program started because it's got a light I'm going to plug this into motor one and this way it'll s let's see if I press button a I can you can kind of hear it you might not be able to see it yeah you can see it and then button B should stop it, right? Okay. 
And again, literally, if I turn it around, it should go the opposite direction, right? Come on, you can, oh my gosh, there we go. So if you paid attention to which direction it moved before, we should see opposite. We should see, let's see, which way am I going here? Uh, for me, it's going clockwise. So let's uh, flip this puppy around. And press it again. Yes, it's going counterclockwise. Okay, I mean, it's that simple because, you know, it's got the connectors. Now, this motor doesn't have those connectors, so I'm going to need some alligator clips. That's why your kit has alligator clips with socket. So, again, we plug into here with our socket, and then we're just going to connect which one to connect which well again depends on do we want this to run clockwise or counterclockwise this one you can really hear so it's going one direction and if i switch these obviously it will go the other direction right this one makes a smell to it when it yep other direction when it runs and i don't think i'm overpowering it because this is only giving us at most like five volts so, now again, I, we also said, hey, we can just plug it straight into 5 volts if you want it to run continuously, right? So there are the 5 volt pins. Always hook up ground first. And then... So if you just want it to run continuously, again, I, if I press buttons, it's not, nothing's happening to change it. And we know that's the code. But, and then finally, let's come back into here our yellow motor again it's got two places i could have used this uh where am i at socket to socket connectors but i've already got the alligator clips out so i'm going to use them alligator clip alligator clip press a to start boom and there we go we got a motor on them press b to stop so we just hook up to the motors and we use those couple of motor blocks and then whatever you want to do to control, right? And then we long press to turn it off. So that's running motors. Play with them, decide which ones you want to use. There are two of these. Um, and then again, you can, or you can mix them up. It all depends on what you want to do. They run a little bit differently. See what they do. Have fun.